Hey guys, welcome back to the Stadium Stories. Have you read the news that Everton have been handed a 10-point deduction this season for breaching the Premier League's financial rules? This means they will drop to the 19th place with only 4 points at hand. The news shook Everton, and the club feels it is unfair and is disappointed with the decision. They are going to file an appeal for the sanction, but will they be able to overturn the ruling? Why don't we take a look at the most controversial manager they have appointed and how the club's management has fallen out with the Evertonians, which has now led to a 10-point penalty for Everton this season. According to former Everton director of football, Marcel Brands, who was working alongside Benitez during his time at the club. He wanted to bring Luis Diaz from Porto in the summer of 2021. However, despite only being appointed that summer, Benitez blocked Everton from signing the Colombian international as he was unsure on the player. Is this one of the great spy shenanigans from agent Rafa? Let's find out together. Rafael Benitez's time at Everton was marked by turbulence, with just 7 wins out of 22 matches. This stands as his second lowest win rate since 2000, only outdone by his tenure at Dali and Pro. Additionally, this period saw the second lowest rate of goals scored and the highest rate of goals conceded in his career since the start of the new millennium. Coupled with the lowest points per game record of his career since the 2000, this is easily one of the darkest periods in his managerial career. Before we delve into his time at Everton, let's take a moment to understand who Rafael Benitez is. Born on April 16, 1960, Benitez is a Spanish professional football manager and former player. He started his coaching career at Real Madrid at the age of 26, working as the under-19 and reserve team coach and assistant manager for the senior team. He has managed several clubs including Valencia, Liverpool, Inter Milan, Chelsea, Napoli, Real Madrid, Newcastle United, and most recently, Celta Vigo. His managerial career has been marked by several successes, including winning the UEFA Champions League in 2005 with Liverpool. With over a thousand games in charge and a 49% win rate under his belt, Rafael Benitez took charge of Everton in June 2021. His appointment was met with mixed reactions, given his past association with Liverpool, Everton's city rivals. However, his reign at Goodison Park was short-lived, lasting only six months. Benitez's time at Everton started on a promising note. After seven league games, Everton had accumulated 14 points. This was a better start than they had last season, and it seemed like Benitez was steering the ship in the right direction. However, the tide quickly turned. Benitez's reign ended after a dismal run of one win in 13 league games. One of the key factors contributing to this downfall was a series of key injuries. Notably, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Everton's star striker, and Yuri Mina, their defensive stalwart, were sidelined. Abdoulaye de Carre, a key figure in the midfield, also struggled with a foot problem. The absence of these key players exposed deeper issues within the club, particularly a lack of depth in the squad. However, it wasn't just injuries that led to Benitez's downfall. His identity, closely tied to Liverpool, was a significant factor. Despite his coaching abilities, Benitez was never likely to be afforded much patience by fans if things went badly. The fans' discontent grew louder with each poor result, and the pressure mounted on Benitez. His past comment referring to Everton as a small club following a goalless Merseyside derby at Anfield in 2007 did not sit well with the Everton fans. This led to a fallout between him and the fans, with banners demanding his exit scene during matches. Moreover, Everton's financial situation played a role in Benitez's departure. Since Farhad Moshiri became the club's owner in 2016, there has been a net spend of a little over £200 million. Despite this, the club found itself anxiously glancing over their shoulders at a possible relegation fight. Everton had spent more than half a billion in the past five years, which led the club into what is often referred to as financial fair play jail. This meant that the club was limited in its ability to spend on new players due to UEFA's financial fair play regulations, which aimed to prevent clubs from spending more than they earn. Benitez, known for his tactical acumen, was expected to work within a tight budget, replacing unsustainable spending with austerity. However, the lack of financial backing during his spell at Everton made it challenging for him to strengthen the squad, especially when key players were sidelined due to injuries. Under Benitez, Everton adopted a 4-2-3-1 formation, which was quite fluid and could change to resemble more of a 5-4-1 or 3-4-3, depending on the opposition. This formation was part of Benitez's defensive masterclass, with the team defending as a unit, showing great intensity and strength. 
However, despite these defensive tactics, Everton's style of play was arguably too passive for the modern game. They were not a possession team, instead, they looked to get the ball forward very quickly with long balls into the final third and counterattacks whenever possible. This direct style of play relied too much on individuality and was not suited to the hard-pressing Premier League of 2021. In conclusion, while Benitez's defensive tactics initially seemed to transform Everton into a solid side, the team's passive and direct style of play, coupled with a lack of squad depth and key injuries, ultimately led to their downfall. This period serves as a reminder that in the ever-evolving world of football, adaptability is key. The fallout between Benitez and the Everton fans underscores the importance of understanding and respecting the sentiments of the fanbase. The financial constraints, coupled with the team's poor performance and growing discontent among the fans, created a challenging environment for Benitez. Despite his efforts, the situation did not improve, ultimately leading to his departure from the club. After Benitez's departure, Everton's performance did not improve significantly. The Toffees lost 9 of their past 12 Premier League games, sinking from 4th in the table at the start of October to 15th in January 2022. The end of Rafael Benitez's misguided and disjointed 200-day reign at Goodison Park has left Everton looking for a 7th permanent manager in 6 years. The club's internal structure is a mess and even though the club had already announced a strategic review, there is little confidence among fans it will provide the answers. Everton's financial situation also remained precarious, with severance deals to former managers since 2016 totaling more than £40 million while lavish spending on average players whom they have struggled to move on has been a constant theme. That's all for today's analysis. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more football insights. Do you think Everton will get relegated this season? Drop your comments down below. We're excited to hear from you. Until next time, stay tuned and keep supporting your favorite teams.